Hello Internet! I wanted to just do a bit of a video on uh, my thoughts on YouTube videos that you often see if you're into mathematical puzzles. And you'll sometimes see these puzzles elsewhere, um, but they're a, they're a kind of puzzle where it's not obvious how to approach them and it feels a little counterintuitive that they actually work. But I, I've come to enjoy them a lot. Basically, we're talking about brain teasers of the form, is my number double years? I don't know. Is my number half years? I don't know. Is my number double years? I don't know. Is my number half years? I don't know. Is my number double years? Yes. Um, and this is not exactly it. I, I don't, uh, and usually the numbers are constricted to be between maybe one and 10 and integers. Or something like that, and it's just, it's interesting to see the sequence of I don't knows from precise questions turning into a yes. And I, I I like them because they really drive home the point that with a certain framing, an I don't know actually conveys information. Now, first, we need to make it clear that we're assuming that both parties are careful and insightful thinkers who don't make mistakes, uh, but they're not omniscient. They don't have a magical reason uh, or magical way to peek around the lack of knowledge that they start with. We could go all fancy and say that they're perfectly rational thinkers, but the term rational is a really overla uh, overloaded term. And I'm wary of using it without a conversation first. Uh, sometimes it's used for political ends. Sometimes people have very precise things that the term rational means to them. So let, let's avoid that term. But the point is that they're going to look very carefully at all available information uh, that they have when they're asked that particular question. And they're going to try to give a really good answer. Crucially, if they can determine something is a yes, they'll say so. If they can determine that something is a no, then they'll say so. And if it cannot be determined based on available information, whether something's a yes or a no, then they'll say uh, that they don't know. This is distinct from, I cannot figure it out, so I'll say I don't know. And this is where uh, people may mistake an I don't know uh, for something that's conveying no information. So as an example in the, in the puzzle above, and I, I know I didn't actually state it in a way where it's solvable. If both you and somebody else picked integers between one and 10, and neither starts out knowing the other's uh, pick. If you're asked if your number is double the other person's, even if you know nothing about the other person's choice, you might either give a no, if you can rule it out based on the range of possible numbers for you and the other person, that yours is double theirs. Um, uh, or you might give an I don't know if you cannot rule it out. And both of these actually narrow the range on your number. Uh, and each successive question can continue to narrow the possible ranges of both numbers until things narrow enough that a yes becomes possible as the only uh, possible correct answer, assuming that you, you really are being honest when you say you don't know. Uh, and this might be that if, for example, your, your, your initial choice is odd and you're asked if your number is uh, double that of the other person's, then you can, you can uh, definitively say no. Uh, you, you know that your number is not double theirs because you have an odd number and, and you're restricting things to integers. Uh, also, if your number is uh, on the low end uh, and you've already managed to restrict the range of, uh, of the other person's possible numbers to something higher, then, then, you, uh, then you can give a no because you're definitely not double theirs because you're smaller than theirs. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the reason that this seems nonsensical when you just start from a common sense uh, perspective Again, it boils down to the distinction between I don't know as uh, it cannot be determined based on available information versus I don't know because I haven't yet reached a conclusion. Either I'm too lazy to think it out 
or I'm not clever enough to think it out, or uh, or something like that. The, the, the term, I don't know, has a lot of baggage from non-mathematical use, uh, and people often don't bring themselves into a restrictive technical understanding of what these terms can mean. It's not very technical. I mean, uh, it's just switching from common terminology to really trying to think logically, and you shift the way that you use terms when you do that. But yeah, I love these kinds of puzzles. Whenever I, I see them on YouTube, I love that a lot of the YouTube videos, they, um, <clears throat> a lot of those YouTube videos, they, they'll actually stick the question in the thumbnail of the video. You don't even have to play it. You can just see it, you start thinking about it, and see if you can figure it out. And this is just a nice little distraction from life that I, I sometimes uh, I, I pick up. Uh, sometimes I'll use pen and paper. Usually I won't. If, I, if I'm tempted to use pen and paper, then it's a little bit more serious and I don't always have pen and paper handy. But if I come across one of those videos and I can figure it out in my head after, ideally after a little bit of work, you don't want something where it's like, oh, I know the answer uh, because I've seen it before or it's, uh, it's just not clever enough. It has a simple trick or something and then you immediately know it. Those just aren't any fun. I want to work on it a little bit and then solve it. But a lot of those video thumbnails give you something that, particularly if you like uh, mild brain teasers, you'll get there. I, I believe with stuff like Sudoku, generally, you are going to need to, um, you'll need a pen and paper to work things out. And that can be fun too. Uh, but it's less my thing than things where I can think about it in my head for maybe two or three minutes and then reach an answer uh, without needing to write things down. Anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick little video on this because I, I love that, that kind of problem. Bye-bye.